Hello everyone and welcome back to this channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Heidi and I'm from Norway. <laughs> so, what's coming towards you next week? What do you need to know? Alright. And I also do want to thank you guys for um, subscribing and um, liking my videos. I really appreciate it. Sorry about the lightning and if I forget to zoom in or zoom out, I don't have any fancy uh, equipment, so let's see. In a temple, devotion, <laughs> tune in to the portal of your heart, yeah, using a meditation, connect, yeah, take a um, walk out in the nature or just sit and be still. Connect to the nature and tune in because you have all the answers within you. Alright, thank you. <clears throat> I'll ask the, the tarot. It gives me the feeling of. Um, that you have been waiting for for a while now, um, but uh, very shortly uh, this could uh, turn around. Some of you are trying to, you know, connect um, with your higher self, and and I do feel that you are. Um, going to make it. And the two of pentacles. Yes, you have been uh, trying to um, keep the balance, balancing, juggling. And the eight of wands. Yeah, I feel that this will happen very fast. I do feel that um, there will be uh, this uh, turnaround and find uh, a better solution. You are connecting. Some of you are getting downloads. The Eight of Swords. Um, some of you... Um, feeling stuck, um, not able to move or see, but I do feel the need of relaxing, you know. I just felt the feeling of being a lot in my head and stressed, um, stressed out because you are perhaps having trouble connecting or trying to manifest um, <coughs> your future. But you are you need to release yourself from the outcome and relax and take small steps one step at a time and celebrate each step and think as um you know as failure and and um, when you accomplish something as a learning curve we are going through and the eight of eight of pentacles you have been um yeah, you have to work, you have to, you know, um, perhaps you feel that there is no time to to have this alone time, a me time. And meditation and healing, it doesn't have to take uh, the whole day. <laughs> Ten minutes each day or even five minutes helps. I'm uh, very focused uh, on um, uh, working very... Um, very focused, releasing yourself, and healing, working on yourself, healing the past, forgiveness, and the Eight of Wands. <laughs> and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, 
you are working uh, towards this, uh, you know, um, for the stability and safety. We're talking about long term. <laughs> Celebrations, happiness, abundance, big success. <laughs> Right. And the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I do feel that you are now more aware. You have been giving too much, so now uh, you are um, getting the balance and you are climbing up. I do feel. Um, because you have um, taking a step back and uh, reconsidering things, making plans, good plans, how to to get out of uh, this uh, situation, how to connect and make it flow. I'm feeling so good, and the ten of cups jumped out. It's a new beginning, happiness and joy, you know, fulfillment and and um, celebrations after a very hard time for you. I will clarify the cards. All right, a hand one. There's a lot of passion, and uh, you want to take action. So this, um, I do feel uh, that this uh, struggling or whatever has been um, or come to an end. This is a completion. Uh, this could be talking about some karmic, uh, and I do feel that you are getting help uh, from friends, um, co-workers, uh, could it be at work or family, even your own business. So you're getting help and now you are finding your own way, you find which way to go. And the Eight of Swords. Yeah, I've been trying to figuring out how to earn more money um, without working too hard. Yeah, and the seven of um, wands. Yeah, you're not giving up, uh, and you will overcome uh, obstacles. This will give you more. You will feel more um, passionate about this, and you will grow from this. <coughs> Yeah, like I said, uh, there has been uh, four cups, there has been uh, disappointments and uh, you have been, uh, you know, uh, giving too much. Uh, you didn't receive much back or anything. You have put all your energy and in, in time, effort into something. But you didn't feel um, quite good. Four cups, one more. Well, this opportunity will give you the six. Oh, you will love it. You will love it. You will. In the beginning, you might um, be thinking that uh, um, this is a kind of small offer, or if it's talking about a new job or something, they're not telling you everything. But um, when you are taking um, a deeper look into it, uh, you know that this is uh, you're gonna love it. Could also be talking about love if you're lo looking for love, of course. And the two of pentacles. I really feel that you are working on yourself, loving yourself more. You're taking really good care of yourself. <laughs> and the two of wands could be um, can talk about. Uh, this card can talk about um, more than one option more than one opportunity or opportunities and perhaps you you couldn't in the beginning you couldn't see which way and but after a time uh, taking a time out for yourself being alone you are now seeing uh, you know and can talk about um, traveling as well or creating something. The Eight of Pentacles. 
are working very, very hard. Yeah, and this sun. Sorry about the lightning. You're very focused and you're working very hard, um, but remember to having more fun, be more playful, and the um, the wounds from the past, you should heal. Heal your inner child or heal heal your heart. And I do you feel um, really strong now. I feel the energy of the strength card. The hermit. Can you please tell me more about the hermit? The overworking, you know, the responsibilities, and it's uh, it's over. It's come to an end. The ten of Wands. Yeah, you're more focusing on what gives you joy and happiness rather than um, being stressed out and worried, uh, uh, working hard. And sorry, <laughs> the camera turned off. Yeah, now it's time to to heal, have a rest, and uh, focusing on yourself. And and do you feel that you're getting blessings? So, and help. No money in the world is more important than your health. And a page of pentacles. Yeah, there's a p opportunity. Could be talking about love. And this page of pentacles, ten of uh, swords, is the end of this. All these worries and being stressed out and overthinking, all the burdens, the responsibilities. You have been uh, a lot in your head, feeling worn out, so disorted. Yeah. All right, one more. Another offer. <laughs> Could be a person, perhaps a young one, a new beginning, adventurous, grounded, playful, take a leap of faith. <laughs> what are you waiting for? <laughs> Celebration, three of cups, wow. the ten of pentacles. contract, <laughs> the Hierophant and the Three of Wands. Some of you are might thinking about expanding or um, traveling overseas or are into thinking about uh, real estate, long distance uh, relationship perhaps. There's a big um, contract. It could be talking about school, ed education, but I do feel that you have learned your lesson about money, about losses, and you're moving forward to this victory. I changed deck. The Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. of cups. Some of you are getting married. <laughs> Could be a soulmate. The Ten of Cups. The Five of Cups. And the Nine of Wands. And the Strength. Now you have turned this. You're now focusing on what you really want. And you are taking action, taking take control, you're taking control over your life and you're feeling uh, the confidence um, and much, much stronger. Could be also talking about Leo, of course. This will heal you, this will give you... Hmm. I was thinking about the strength when I saw the sun. <laughs> and the, um, the four of swords, back, uh, taking back your power. And the King of uh, Wands. Now you are so much stronger than uh, ever before. 
and the seven of wands the eight of cups yeah you're walking away you're turning <clears throat> your back onto this being uh, tied up and stressed out and uh, all the worries so you're working towards the sun and this partnership <laughs> talks about you, you're now feeling being aligned with you and your higher self looking good. Can you please tell me more about the lovers? This can be your soulmate, partner, creating this uh, new business perhaps. The four of wands. <laughs> Big success. And the wheel. If this talks about a relationship, um, there perhaps have been, um, you, you both have been working uh, very hard and you forgot uh, the social life. I do feel that um, there will be a change um, for the better and more balanced, equal. So, yeah, and the wheel of fortune. be a soulmate, a karmic and the devil releasing yourself from um, things that uh, or situation doesn't serve you anymore some of you might be thinking about um, relocating and the five of pentacles the worries about money um, come to an end. The tower will kick in. There's a sudden change. All right. Something you don't see or want to see. Can't, can't see or it's a choice. <laughs> yeah. And like I said uh, in the beginning, the hanged man. The death. Again, I believe. Something has come to an end. Um, there is a new beginning and all the stress, you know, feeling uh, tired up, um, blindfolded. It's come to an end now and you will, your emotions will overflow. You will feeling so good, the Ace of uh, Cups. Really, this is beautiful. Whoa. So if there has been some trouble in paradise, you will um, overcome these um, obstacles. And you will um, getting the blessings and gifts uh, the turnaround. Lovely. This is lovely. The, the two of wands. Yeah. <laughs> the universe uh, wants you to perhaps uh, do some adjustments and. Um, Focusing on what you really want instead of um, being feeling stuck. Uh, what makes you makes you stuck? <laughs> um, so instead of focusing on the lack of money, uh, focusing on what can I do? How can I, um, you know, look for the possibilities? And you get the the two of cups again. So <laughs> yeah. So now now you see. Well, well, I'm going to pull some cards from the Archangels as well. All right. What do my beautiful viewers need to know? The Magician. Archangel Raziel, new beginning, you can manifest the life you want, baby. <laughs> what you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. You can manifest anything. All right, the free of Michael. And um, thank you, Raziel and Michael. Release the past. I was talking about you need to <laughs> release the past. You will grow from this situation Time heals all wounds. I've been talking about healing and cutting the cords, you know, release the past. The moon, 
Archangel Haniel the opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, face your fears and grow stronger. We really grow stronger each time we face our fears. Yeah, meditation can um, help, you know. And the lover's archangel, Raphael, thank you. Make choices from your heart. Yeah, listen to your heart. Deeply emotional commitments. The power of love. I said something about getting married or something, yeah. So I do feel that um, there's a deep commitment on a deeper level. All right, the Eight of Ariel. Take great pride in your excellent work. Don't be hard on yourself. Give yourself compliments. And practice makes perfect. And consider getting additional educational training. Yeah, I was talking about uh, education or that there is, uh, might be something more to learn. The Ace of Gabriel, a gift of passion, opportunity and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the Ace of Cups, it's a gift from the angels, from the universe, this change. And King of Ariel, thank you. <laughs> Your plans are working out very well. Yeah, you have been doing great, honey. You know, uh, the hermit. Um, professional and financial success. Wow, really? Using resources wisely. <laughs> I get the sense of um, uh, the Ten of, um, uh, is it, uh, Ten of Pentacles, successful, stable, accomplished, powerful, wow, <laughs> what a wonderful reading, <laughs> all right, my love, well, believe in your, your own magic, <laughs> overall, this is the last. Right. They want me to pick those two. Celebrate yourself. Slow down and celebrate yourself. Yeah, celebrate each step. You know everything. Every step on the way. Everything you accomplish. Even the small ones, the small parts. Unplug and relax for a spell. <laughs> Take yourself out on a date. Yeah, I've been talking about you need to take care of yourself and what do you like to do? Uh, what makes you happy? So I do feel that you need to reconnect, perhaps uh, working on more on yourself and going inward and be true to yourself, what you really want. All right, guys. I hope that some of it uh, resonated uh, with you. If not, um, please uh, check out my other videos. Perhaps you are more into shorts. And there will be a link up there. And thank you for watching. And, um, and I'll see you in my next video uh, next week. The longer ones. All right, my love. Uh, take good care of yourself and your family. And have a nice... Evening. Ciao.